I am using the uh, Garnier Olea Brilliant Color Hair Color Kit. And I'm using 9.3 Light Golden Blonde on my, you know, uh, dark brown hair. There's a few little light blonde highlights underneath, but it's time for me to do something refreshed. And um, I'm also going to test this on someone else's hair as well that has hair much darker than mine's and also a different texture, like a thicker, um, straight texture. Okay, because, you know, ethnic wise. Um, so, um, let me just go over what this kit includes. I have two kits that are, one is a new improved kit. This is the original that had this kind of container, which I've used it before. Um, however, it is a little more difficult to use. The new kit, however, the new improved kit has the, um, and this is for a newer, easier application. This is the new, the newer one where already the base is already in this container, an easier to hold container. And then you add the number two, which is the colorant to it and mix in and you shake it up after you add the number two colorant to the number one base. And then once you use, um, you put the color in your hair, you let it sit for, um, depending on the kind of hair you have, 20 to 40 minutes, you rinse it out and then you use uh, the number three hair conditioner. The old kid, this is completely empty here, okay? So you have to add the base first in the older kit. And it's not older, older, because it's not that long ago. I bought both of these from Walmart. Um, but I just didn't notice the difference that there was supposed to be one that's more newer versus older. And then you add the number two color it. And then you put the cap on and you shake it up and then put it in the hair and rinse it out and then use the number three conditioner, which is the same conditioner as the other one. It just looks like it's, it's in a different container. So, um, the gloves that came with it, I'm going to follow the steps and we're going to see how this works out. Okay. Um, I'm, you watch your face. Well, can I show your hair? No. Okay. <laughs> they don't want to be seen. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then, um, uh, when it's all done, I will show the results. Okay, so I'm back, and um, so far, if you can look close up, this is the light um, color that has come out so far. Um, the kit says it used the tw you know 20 minutes. I always go well beyond the 20 minutes and do like you know up to 40 minutes to 60 minutes and I know it doesn't recommend doing that so I'm not telling you to do that but because I have dark hair and my hair is a little resistant um it can you know take a whole lot longer for me um now some of my hair what I did was I double it up you know I kind of because I have long hair so I kind of pushed it back all up in here like that or whatever but um so this is everything used um I used like one and a fourth kit or one and a half kits. I didn't really need to use two full kits, just one and a half. Um, the other person that I did this on, they only needed half of this particular bottle right here, the newer one right there. Um, so there's a whole lot that's actually, they give you a lot to work with or whatever um in the newer kit um it might be the same amount in both kits but it just felt like that newer bottle it allows you to get more out of it or something i'm not sure but um either way it go it just felt like that bottle was like never ending like i just kept using it kept using it kept using it until it was i'm like oh finally it runs out so that's the good thing about the new kit so um I'm going to go ahead and go rinse because I'm not sure if I should let it sit any longer because I don't want any damage or anything like that. But I've used this kit before, um, uh, probably like three years ago, you know, like three years ago, and um, I didn't have any damage. It wasn't until I used another hair color kit from a totally different company that I had damage. Um, I, what I like about this one is because they do have 
oils mixed in with it. Um, it does make the hair healthier in terms of like, it's, less, it's least likely to be damaged using their kit compared to other um, hair color kits or whatever out there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and then, you know, um, let my hair dry or I might blow dry, I don't know. And then you can see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so this is the results. I just washed it out. Not with shampoo or anything, you just rinse it out and uh, you put the conditioner in after you rinse it out. And uh, after you do the conditioner, that's it. So I actually love the results. As usual though, my ends are um, darker than the rest. However, um, I still love it. I still love it because at the roots and you know at the top it looks excellent or whatever so I love it I'm happy um I may do it again to touch it up or whatever maybe even to attempt to light the bottom up more or whatever but my ends have always been resistant you know about lightening up or whatever but I still love it so uh that's the autumn blue review for uh the Olea uh brilliance uh <laughs> can't remember the name of you know hair kit um number 9.3 I think it's like light yellow blonde or whatever so um I may try other kits of theirs in terms of the colors other colors or whatever like maybe some of the reddish colors or um burgundy colors but um uh, I think it's great my hair does not feel stripped like it would with other hair color kits and that's what I like it does not feel stripped <clears throat> so um I recommend it. It gets a thumbs up for me. And um, it was simple, it was easy. And uh, I don't recommend leaving any hair color on longer than the recommended time, but I, at, I always have to, with any hair color kit, I have to leave it on much longer because um, my hair is a little bit resistant for a color change. So, um, and the longer I notice that I leave something on, um, the lighter it gets or the more the color shows up. So, um, that's why I do it. But of course I'm doing it at my own risk. So, um, you do everything at your own risk. <laughs> so just know that. Okay. All right. Um, look out for more reviews from